Hey there, my name is Promise. You guys remember a game series called Kingdom? Of course you do. It was a fantastic side-scrolling base-building adventure with gorgeous pixel graphics. We even played it on the channel at one point. Well, you guys are used to seeing that game series in a medieval format and setting, but it might surprise you to know that as of today, there is a new installment in the Kingdom series, and it is called Kingdom 80s, set in the 1980s. Yeah, unexpected, but a creative and bold choice. We're gonna jump into this today and show off some of the gameplay and features, but I do wanna note that this video is sponsored by the publisher Raw Fury, and of course, a big thank you to them for that. If you guys like what you see and you wanna learn more, there will be that link in the description down below. I should also note that the game is currently only available on Steam as of right now, but it will be coming to consoles later this year. All right, let's get started. The game actually begins at a summer camp where you are a camp counselor and you are currently being hounded by the greed. You remember those guys, right? Devilish little creatures. And then a ghost of your ancestor approaches and states you are of the bloodline. You must take the crown of monarchs and get home. So that's exactly what you try to do. And along the way, you pick up a couple of friends like the champ and the tinkerer who are going to help you advance the story and advance your capabilities. I'm actually gonna jump forward to mission two though, where we successfully navigate down river and head out of camp and into town because this is where we're gonna have access to a few more features instead of just the beginning tutorial. So we're going to the Royal High School and that is where we are going to set up our camp. And as you can kind of see down here, we got a lot of little followers. These are some of the children that we can recruit from the neighborhood or from the summer camp and they will be trained either as archers or as crafters or they'll be able to do various other little chores in order to gather up some money because otherwise this game does advance very similarly to something like the rest of Kingdom New Lands, Two Crowns, whatever it's going to be. You spend some money to build out more infrastructure, increase the size of your military, fight off the greed, build your defenses, and then try to advance the story in some way. This neighborhood, however, has been completely overrun by the greed, whatever this purple goop is everywhere. Ugh. Right, I hope everyone's okay. My family certainly is uh, nowhere to be found, and that's a bit of a problem. Polly BS Arcade, now who could this person be in here? So oblivious to the Kermolt outside. Why, it's none other than Wiz. Well, hello. This little buddy's gonna give us a quest. We need to find his tech because he's a nerd. If we can get that back for him, he'll follow us around just like Champ and the Tinkerer. Oh God, okay. Well, as you can see there, um, our little buddies are actually pretty effective at killing off some of the greed. So we're not as defenseless. We can actually travel around with these guys like a bunch of bodyguards. Anyway, most important thing I can think to do right now is start building out our infrastructure. Of course, cut down some of the local trees, free up some space. And this little kid is riding a lawnmower that seems slightly hazardous for a very tiny children, but he's making me money and that makes it okay. And of course, little critters will be spawning covered in greed goop. Kill those off, we'll get ourselves some more coins. We need to build up a strong economy. That's always the first and most important thing we can do. Well, that and set up some very basic walls. Without walls, we're gonna fall very quickly. Hello, children hanging out in the playground. Here, money, come serve me. Some of these structures, like you'll see with something like a lemonade stand over here, you can actually integrate into your little, I don't know, camp kingdom, I guess? Um, if we can chop down all these trees and build out the base to capture this entirely, we can have kids work over here and they'll generate money, just like any of the other chores. Uh-oh, here comes the greed and I don't have a wall. Get him, champ! Whammo! Ah, that worked. Take a look at some of the art and stuff in the background. That's always been one of the main selling points of the Kingdom games to me. Honestly, the pixel art has been fantastic. And then you just, you can't help but notice the reflection in the river down below. It's iconic for all Kingdom games. It looks so good. What's in this house? We can spend a coin to interact with it. Oh, it's my house, where my parents are currently absent. Very suspicious, I dare say. We're getting a message from our mother saying something's going on in the town. Stay home. There are things out there. Things grandma told me stories about. Our family's burden. Oh my. What is my bloodline cursed with? And see, that's one of the things that's kind of cool about Kingdom 80s is it does try to tell a unique and very different story than we are familiar with. All of this is to say that we have an agenda for this particular episode, a mission, a quest. We must repair the bridge so I can get access to the Great Mall where my parents are currently holed up. That's the goal for this episode. Let's make it happen with my army of children. Put your backs into it, tiny children. Chop down those blighted trees. It's perfectly safe. They're not toxic at all. Oh, let's go ahead and reclaim this swimming pool over here, by the way. That's another one of those jobs. Somebody's gotta play lifeguard, right? And somehow that makes me money. 
Always good to get yourself a lot of archers if possible. Not only do they make for very good defenders against the greed when they do eventually send waves after you at night, like it's happening right now, but also when they kill off those little critters, it's a very good way of generating more cash, as you can see right there. Let's also make sure we upgrade our camp, in this case a high school, though it does change between episodes. Get this thing upgraded, unlock more tech, unlock bigger walls, bigger towers, all those kinds of things. Oh, Tinkerer just ran over here to do something else too, after I upgraded the high school all the way. She's repairing the uh, power transformer? That's an incredible skill, Tinkerer, dang. Oh, I see. Okay, so what she just created for us here is a, um, a dumpster. Now, that may seem like a very uh, mean-spirited gift. However, it's actually very useful because we can use it as a mobile barricade that Champ will push along, and it's a, uh, it's a defensive wall where we can have our armies actually go and attack the greed. Oh, what's this? My ancestral ghost friend person wants me to go this direction. Apparently there's something important. Why, well, I see some mail over here. Can I steal your mail? That's not a federal crime or anything. Oh, it apparently can be opened periodically to give me coins. Well, that's a neat trick. How'd you pull that one off? Hey, let's go ahead and also invest in this garage sale. Man, it's almost as if I'm your local capitalist mogul or something. I'm spending money and making money. It's great. Uh-oh, the greed's coming for me. Get them, boys! Look at that, absolute champions. Love it. <laughs> it's nice having some big bullies who can knock people around for you. Once you do get your camp upgraded quite a lot, you can actually spend some money to place down these banners, which uh, once you have some free children available, they'll come over here and they'll equip themselves with a sword and a trash can lid so that they can become effectively like your knights. Very useful when leading charges against the enemy. Champ, hop off of your bike. Let's go ahead and use this siege barrier. The children will naturally form ranks behind us, don't you worry. I'm pretty sure there's a greed spawner up ahead that we would like to get rid of. Yeah, this thing right over here. There's this little swirly portal where the greed comes from every night, and sometimes during the day if you get a little bit too close. With enough archers, though, and a barrier to protect us, we should be able to take these guys out. There we go. Break this thing, and I think I might see some tech that's stuck within those rocks. Maybe that's what Wiz is looking for. Let loose my little children murderers! <laughs> Who gave children so many weapons? I'm a terrible count counselor! Well, desperate times call for desperate measures and all that. Well, hello. We found some sort of tech. Hey, Wiz, is this enough to help us get across the bridge? Challenge accepted, he says. Excellent. Hey, uh, ch champ, I would like you to put this thing down for a second, please. Thank you. With Wiz on our side, we actually can now start placing down towers. So I'm going to go ahead and get some scaffolds set up. And he can get these things built so our archers will have an advantage point to continue fighting against the greed. This is, at the end of the day, not only a base building game to make money, but also to build up your defenses because the waves will be getting progressively nastier every single night. Oh, I take that back. This thing is not an archer tower. It's a freaking laser cannon. Oh, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. What's this thing gonna be? We need to add some firepower. Add some firepower to what? Oh, oh my gosh. Have we just built ourselves some sort of a tank? Heck yes. Yes, pay tribute to me, tiny children. Collect coins for your master. I can't even hold them all. I'm so filthy rich. Oh, I was born to exploit children. Speaking of children, I think the biggest problem right now is I would benefit from having a lot more of them. But I only know of these two camps right here, which should be spawning a couple new children every new day. So I'm slowly building up my army. But if we want to find more children, I'll have to go ahead and fight some more of those greed portals and expand the base. Speaking of expanding, with Wiz on my side, I actually should be able to upgrade this high school to its final form. At least I assume it's the final form. There we go. Looks like Wiz is building some stuff for me for free. Are we getting free automatic defenses around the base? We are. That's nice. Well, let's see what this little tank thing is able to do. I'd like to get myself a new siege barrier, please. Champ, if you wouldn't mind, be a champ, and let's push this thing forward. Now, I'm surely not the only one who thinks that this giant presence in a greed-infested region is a little bit creepy, right? Whoa! All right, you want to talk about some extra firepower? I love my new tank thing. That's awesome. Yeah, note to self, let Wiz play with his toys. He is an absolute monster. <laughs> of course, the Greed are now sending some of their big boys after me, which is a little bit on the spoopy side. We'll just kind of do a, a fighting retreat here, I think, as long as we got our siege barrier and our giant artillery cannon. Oh yeah, we melted that guy. We melted it. 
Something worth paying attention to, by the way. Some of the little hats that these greed guys wear are kind of funny. We're not seeing some right now, but I've seen Robocop. I've seen Predator. Yeah, there's a lot of little references in here. Oh, yep, there's see Robocop right there. Oh, gosh, there's a weird crap thing. Never seen that before. All right, um, yeah, fighting retreat again. Fighting retreat sounds good. Ooh, he destroyed my siege barrier. Okay. Well, that's not great. I guess I'll have to go and uh, get another one. Oh, this does sound like a blood moon, though. Right, just like with uh, all the other Kingdom games, uh, every few nights, I think it's like seven or eight, uh, you do tend to run into an extra dangerous night where a lot of things spawn. Uh, we probably are fine, to be honest. I don't think I have to worry about the base back home. I hate to come back and find out that it's all in ruins. Aha! Okay, it took a while of marching left and fighting through massive waves of greed, but we did find the bridge that we need Wiz's help to repair. And that seems to have triggered some angry greeds. Okay. Fair enough. Um, that's why I fully upgraded both of these towers. Well, I say fully upgraded. We can finish this up here. But, uh, oh. Okay. They're, they're coming over the bridge. Okay, that's not what I expected. Right. Um, good thing I have these towers then. Fight them back, fellows. Fight them. There we go. Should be repaired. Okay. Fought that off. Now we just need this bridge to lower a little bit more. Gosh, it's an agonizingly slow bridge, though. I guess what we're supposed to do is just sit here for as long as we can and just keep fighting off the greed to get it as low as possible. If we have to retreat, we have to retreat, but uh, I don't know, with the turret and all these little kids with uh, with bows and arrows, we should be able to handle this. There we go. Okay, well done, Wiz. Thank you. Oh gosh, they are sending quite a lot after me this time. We got double crab action. Right, uh, that's a little bit scary. Let's, um, let's back it up just a smidge. Oh yeah, this guy's a mobile spawner. He'll occasionally just walk around and spit out some more of the greed. Right. We've seen these guys before, but the turrets are doing great with him. You know, I don't remember having this kind of laser technology in the 80s. I mean, I wasn't born in the 80s. I'm a, I'm a 1990 kid personally, but uh, there was a lot of talk about those kinds of lasers. It's kind of nice to see in this reality they made it actually happen. Oh, and I think we actually finished that uh, that particular episode. Thank you, children. Goodbye. Good luck with the high school and the greed. I'm sure everything will be fine. And now the story gets to advance. We'll move on into episode three. And it looks like these little boogers have been getting all over the city. Yikes. Oh, it's my dad's fault. There's excavations on the mall foundations? You unleashed greed upon the world? Oh. <sighs> He found the crown of creation. Oh my. Well, that explains uh, why the greed woke up. Excellent. All right. Thanks, Dad. You doomed the world. Moving on to episode three. But of course, you guys are going to have to discover the rest of the story all on your own. I don't know how many episodes there are in this particular standalone version of Kingdoms, but I have to say, uh, considering this is such a wildly different approach to the formula, I think they're doing something pretty cool here as far as actually building out a decent story and actually sticking to a bold and creative theme. I really like that. Now, as I said before, if you guys would like to learn more about the game, there will be that link in the description down below, available on Steam right now, but coming to consoles later on. And once again, thank you to Raw Fury for sponsoring this video and getting me early access to Kingdom 80s. This is actually pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful and informative, and I will see you guys next time.